up, buddy? Stupid save wizard. That shit stays on for two minutes and will say that there's a problem it needs to restart. It's trash. Now I'm going to quickly put a save on my USB so I can transfer it over to my console. The file that I'm transferring is the original save like I had mentioned. Original DMO light save from KG Gaming. This is where it all comes from and where it all began. And there's still a lot of people who are using this save in this state to bring cars online. We obviously need to make a couple of changes in order for us to use it as a house vehicle slot for DMO, original save, DMO light, save editor. I won't make no backups. I'm going to change it. Okay. Now you can see when I load this save, there's already a bunch of shit in the garages. Everything already shows. Pillbox Hill Garage shows that it's full. The impound has a couple of rides. Strip Club shows streetcars are on the slots. Bullshit, right? Okay. The save's now ready. You can't just start making cars on this save and load up and go and think everything's going to be just fine. The save's now ready. It's got to be created to be ready. It's got to be altered and changed. And there's a lot of stuff that's missing. There's a lot of content on this save that's not there that should be there. Things that should be unlocked that's unavailable to you and your character. And for a regular person that just likes to throw cars on their saves and hit cars off at Give Cars to Friends Boulevard, well, this might just work for you. But we're talking about making cars at a different level. Ones that are actually, you know, high level, high standard, fully clean. In a way that's different, that don't need manipulated or modded in any way. Alright, now most of you guys are used to seeing this setting screen when you load right in. Trevor in his underwear. People go about their process. They say, alright, let's hit DMO. They switch to Franklin and go about their business, right? As I mentioned, the save's not set up yet. First thing I like to do is enter director mode straight away. We need to choose our location so that we can drop and we need to change our location somewhere where house vehicles are stored. All right, somewhere where house vehicles are stored. Now Trevor has his house. Trevor has his house in Sandy Shores. And you can set a waypoint and teleport there. And the thing about Trevor's house is that the garage door will open and this is a house vehicle location where two cars can be stored so you can store two cars here and hit DMO right here at Trevor's house set user location one and user location two by hitting triangle see your little green dot change that way if I ever need to teleport when I do DMO and I spawn right back out into DMO I can just choose that location. I should be right there. Use the location one. All right. And you can hit DMO and bring cars online right here at Trevor's house just fine. One's from your interaction menu as soon as you hit. Two from the garage. Drop your secondary ride if you want to. What have you. All right. Now, obviously, we don't like to hit out here too much because it's kind of far away from things that are going on inside the city. 
gift cards to friends has been tied to the city, so the strip club has been the home for a long time. Been living out of the strip club for the past few years. Make cars out of there. It's the best place to do it. With the new update to save editor, I imagine a lot more people are going to be wanting to come here. All right, now you can see I got a couple of cars that are already parked here that are street cars. They're not parked in the right locations, but they do appear. I only come here for one reason. That's to set that location, user one. I'm gonna change it to this spawn point. I like to kind of be on this little corner, the peninsula, if you will, of the asphalt. Hit triangle, hit triangle, and set your user location. Go ahead and exit director mode. Right back to Trevor. Now that sets our location inside of director mode to the strip club so we know we can hit there. Now we got to make our way into the city. If you're good when you skyfall, you can make your way all the way in past Martin Madrazo's house. You'll spawn in the city. You got to be good though. You can obviously call a cab and take a ride too. I like to die to let time advance a little bit in the safe. It's okay. Shit, I might make it to the casino. Close enough to hit the city, I tell you. Alright, we got our director mode location set. We spawn in the city. I'll make my way to the strip club. It's important that you don't interact with too many rides. You can interact with ones that you're going to destroy and blow up. They don't run you over, motherfuckers. Trevor likes to get hit. Now normally it's at this point that someone would tell you to go ahead and go to the strip club or go to the impound and get your impound rides. All right, obviously I got a marker on the map for my impound. This save has impound rides on it to begin with. And like normally when we deal with house slots, that's what someone would tell you. Go get your cars from the impound, move them to the strip club. You need bodies at the strip club before you can make a modded safe. And we don't need to do that anymore. We just have to have a save that's prepped for us to use the strip club to drop. But you won't actually need to transport vehicles or transport bodies or do anything like that. All right. And that's why I'm coming back down to the strip club. It's just so that I can get rid of these couple of cars that are actually stored here. I don't want them here. I'm going to blow them up. We need to actually clear them slots fully. And get them things off the slots. You can blow that one up too. That was my current personal vehicle. Take the easy way out. Cycle through them slots. Everything should be good. You can have time advancement in your game save as long as you stay as Trevor. You can continue to die and continue to move forward and continue to count the days down. And nothing will happen to your DMO save as long as you stay as Trevor and you don't cycle through anything. Alright, so now I cleared my slots. I got the strip club empty. I've died, but I'm not done yet. Homeboy owns Pillbox Hill Garage, right? Pillbox Hill Garage is for Trevor. And like, if you check the save, okay, you check the save, you can see that in the save, Trevor's Pillbox Hill Garage shows that there's four cars there, right? The Weevil, the Winky, the Torador, the Brioso, but I don't even own this garage yet, right? And so I'll buy this garage real quick. Let's go video. So I buy the garage. It was 35000 After you buy the garage, you go in. 
even though on that game save I have those four cars shown there, you'll see that they don't appear. Only the one car appears. Okay. Only the one car appears. That's all. The other three slots haven't been unlocked yet, so I can't really like store vehicles on them. Even though it appear appears like I should. Okay. And like I'm loading this save to unlock this location so that I can store here. But in order to store here, you need to have vehicles here. So you could buy cars from the website, you know, if you want. You can also take out a special vehicle, the Elegy, and drive it right back in. All right. And these cars, these DLC cars, even though they stay in the garage and they're locked, you know, we can't use them. We can't store them. We can't drive them. They just kick you out of them automatically like that and so you can't get those cars to the strip club you can't use them as house vehicles so we can't drive and that's big purpose behind the update right now is so that we can get dlc cars to the strip club without having to worry about losing vehicles inside of story mode on our save so you can't transport anything right you can't transport anything so i like to clear them slots and then I buy cars. Right. I'll actually buy rides. It doesn't matter what rides you buy. You just want to buy some rides. Unlock the slots. And again, you can unlock slots with Save Editor, but I like to have them unlocked as I pull my save. It's a master save. I want everything to be fully allocated. You can only buy a few cars. It'll stop when you can't buy them no more. Say purchase failed, not sold. My slots are full there. All right. So that, that location is now going to have everything on it. I never answer the phone. Never will you answer the phone. It's 845. It's a little too late. I'm going to cycle through some time. Give them cars a chance to get delivered to my garages. And I like to force my save in the morning. I want it to be 7 o'clock as Trevor's running out of the hospital. You don't ever want to die and then come out at night and force a hard save right now. See, it's 6 o'clock at night. Try to run DMO at night. Something about the way the game's values work. It doesn't quite load up and render the same. There's different cutscenes for your characters. There's a good chance that you'll fail your DMO if you're not ready. And things aren't precise. You have better luck if you actually start in the morning time. Different sequences for your characters are going to react. Ones that we can depend on. Like Franklin being at his house before he gets a phone call from Lester. Trevor spawning on the mountain in a dress before you go into director mode. Or walking down the street next to the movie theater. These sequences only happen in the morning. And so it's best to have your save in the morning. Other sequences that come later on in the daytime might take longer to load. You know, Trevor in the middle of Sandy Shore's ocean swimming, and you can't enter director mode until you're on the shore. Or you're getting chased by cops to the three-star wanted level. And once I come here to the strip club, all right, I can see I got two more stupid-ass cars that spawned here. Let's get rid of them. And these cars are going to stay tied to them slots. They're going to imprint themselves whether there's vehicles on them or not. But I don't want cars on there. I definitely don't want that car on there. It'll save it. You don't want the cars even parked in the slots at all, at all. Moves the cops a little bit. Alright. Morning time, it's before 8. We should be good to go. Create another hard save. No cars on the slots. I'm at the strip club. When I load my save, I'll be here, ready to go as Franklin. When I hit DMO and I enter director mode, 
I should be able to go straight into director mode and spawn right back out at the strip club where I was. I'm at the strip club, director mode. I'm at the strip club, story mode. I got Trevor's Pillbox Hill Garage unlocked. Destroyed the vehicles that were at the strip club so nothing's here. And I also have no personal vehicle tied to my character. Just the current vehicle, this Trevor's truck, right? Obviously, force your hard game save. I know I'm going to reload here at this point. We're going to mod this save. Close game. Upload or delete. Main copy, not the backup. Jesus. Why does it want to take so long? Too much stuff. Too much stuff on the save list. Display the capture. Close that save. See if our save wizard is gonna work without making me reopen the shit. I'm going to export this right over that DMO Lite original save. Okay. It's my original. It still says original, but it's not my original now. I made changes to it. DMO Lite original. Let's open it. All right, now you can see the four hot knives that are in Pillbox Hill that I just bought, right? Them slots have been allocated to. Now they're unlocked. I'll have access to them. I should see them there. I have all this other shit on this save, though. Okay? All this other shit on this save. All this other nonsense. And even though I cleared them strip club slots, it still shows vehicles there. No plates or no anything upgrades because I destroyed them vehicles. So there's nothing tied to it. But it's still imprinted with cars. You can see when I check vehicle and garage, it shows it's false. Because it's not stored in the garage. When you check the interior, it shows false. It's not stored. It's just a residual thing that happens with the house slots. The house slots are imprinted with residual data. They always will be. All of the house slots are. All right. But all these other slots do too. I have a regular garage slot that's got a pre-modded Manchester Scout. And there's certain upgrades that are already tied to this bike. Certain features that are going to be on it. And check the advanced modifications to see some of the numbers are selected. Body style, armor, brakes, engine, whatever components on it. They hold certain values. Those values will stay tied to that slot. Whether I override it with a new vehicle or not, I can pick any car. New Hexer. Go back to advanced settings. Armor stayed the same. The body style stayed the same. The brakes stayed the same. All right, so this happens with all slots. This even happens with your strip club slots, your impound slots, all your house vehicle slots. Even though I can go check here, there's no advanced settings for these slots. I know that 
that's how slots are designed to carry identities over. So if I want to go to the house location and just start placing vehicles on the slot, reset the mods, and start building, there's a good chance that what I'm attempting to create won't actually come through yet. Okay? And I actually like to clear all slots. Clear all vehicles from everything. All the way. All characters will be reset. Michael, Trevor, Franklin, all with stock hazard plates. Everything defaulted. All right? Everything defaulted. some hot knives back in this situation. Now one thing about default in your save is you don't only clear the slots that are ones that we're trying to mod. You actually clear the slots for Trevor's main truck and for Ron's blazer and for all this shit. And the game will reload it by its own when you pull that save, when you put it back into the game. But I'm like hella OCD about the situation. So I'll actually search the vehicle as Trevor's truck and select it to a regular slot and then use the fucking custom vehicle hash. So I can copy it. And the reason why I do that is because you can't change these main character vehicles. When you click on that slot, there's no vehicle option, right? But there is a vehicle hash. And so I'll set it back to his truck. And it'll come back. See? You can max all modifications. And I give Trevor a modded truck. Front rims, rear rims. One red. This truck is garnet red, metallic garnet red, but I change them to worn so it looks clean. Neon color, tire smoke, tire smoke and Patriot will lock on the slots. When you choose Patriot smoke, you'll see the selection on the slot, but the color hasn't changed from red. Change the option off and on, and it'll appear back to black. Should be selected. All right, and I'll show you that because that's an important thing that's happening right now. Setting with rides, okay, certain rides. When it comes to the house slots, so I'm going to clear these to actual nuns. I get a reset all modifications alert. I'm going to say yes. And fully delete the plate text. None and none. My text is non-standing. Yes. We'll check that real quick. I'll delete this to blank and save. You now get an alert that lets you know that another house vehicle has this plate text. If you're using DMO to receive cars, and both cars at the strip club have the same plate, when you receive one of the cars, the second one will brick and lock itself. They have to have different plates. Uh, you can use MOC to MOC if it's stay in session method to receive cars with the same plates, but there's a good chance your second one will brick until you don't have access to this personal vehicle. So this is a little reminder to let you know that you're at risk of locking a car down when you do DMO and you want to have a different plate. Okay. 
those slots are cleared reset all mods to both them strip club slots now when making cars at the strip club i don't like to just go start making cars at the strip club all right not initially not to begin with all right we still had the issue in the beginning where we would design cars in the impound actually physically load that game up and go drive them cars to the strip club we don't actually have to do that now but it's a good idea to follow the process because the concept is still the same when you're passing modifications so i'll use a regular garage slot to make a vehicle and i'm just going to replace this vehicle with the pre-made one that i already have okay let's do a voodoo okay i got a voodoo but we don't want to show what it is yet do we What is it, Cash? That's a trick. I'll just do some color shit real quick for this slot. Make sure that when you go to tire smoke, you select your Patriot smoke. Cycle on and off of the option for it to appear. Patriot smoke will be saved. Now I just went to the respray for the rim color. And I copied that directly to the neon. So when I go neon color, it's there. See wash green. My tire smoke is going to be Patriot. I've got the rim color set. Pearlescent, primary, secondary. I used in-game colors. No respray custom. It's unselected, right? Front rims on waves. Because that's what I like to do. Max all modifications. Yes. Okay. Save. And that car saved. All right. So this, G this car is a GTA VV file. I could extract it right now. Oh, well, I could copy it and extract selected vehicle. It's a voodoo. I know I just pulled it. If I save it, it'll ask me to overwrite. I'm just going to say, yeah, voodoo was extracted. Okay, you can extract it or you can copy it. Does the same thing. Copy it, tie it to my clipboard, extract the vehicle file. I have it. Now we go back with that voodoo to the strip club slot, Trevor Strip Club, or again, his house that I showed in the beginning. You can do both locations. So I go to his strip club slot, choose the slot. Can't choose a vehicle, but I can replace the selected vehicle or I can paste the modifications that I just copied. I'm going to actually hard replace that vehicle with the file. Maybe. Oh, yeah, it's asking for a house vehicle, but I made it a GTA VV file. Now, they don't matter in between the difference because it will convert right away. Even though this is a GTA VV file from a regular slot, as soon as I select it and choose it, it'll tie those mods to this location. I should be able to check that everything passed. My primary is my color, white, secondary, sea wash, carried the rim color. The style of rims that I had selected, right? Tire smoke color shows is black. Patriot smoke is not going to be listed if you show here right now. We need another update to fix something that happened, but you can check your quick mod. Quick mod will show Patriot smoke, and the tire smoke has no color option because it's blacked out as none. Fix my horn and verify all my other little tiny components if I didn't do so already. And because I've just extracted that vehicle from a regular location and placed it on the house slot, I now have access to do my interior and my dashboard color at once.
So I can pick that shit here, right? I like to use the quick menu because it's just how the program was for a long time. Program was this way for a long time. All right, cool. Now I can make changes there, or I could have made changes here if I wanted to. Obviously, I got dashboard color. Shows the pure white I chosen. Interior color. It's on sea wash green, right? That vehicle's here. I always force to save when I make changes. Hard save. All right, so I got one slot locked. I need to design another one because it's still open. So I go back to that same storage location I had in the beginning. Again, I'm just going to use a pre-made vehicle that I already had stored. What are we going to use, huh? Should I use a bike? Use a bike. I use the inductor just because. Max all upgrades. Choose your color. Rim color. Do I got custom on this? No. The chameleon shit on it. I'm not really going to full design these rides. I'm just going to kind of pick some colors. One red, one dark gold. Gold pearl, front rim, still show waves, rear rims. Choose my tire design. Okay. Tire smoke color. Shows his Patriot smoke lock to this slot already. The neon color is blue, but that's not what I want. Right. Let's change it to gold. Copy neon color. Bike. Play text there. Save. Now this time I'll actually copy the vehicle and paste it so that I can do two different processes on the cars and show that they both work. One I extracted and replaced. This bike I'll just copy the mods, choose the slot, paste vehicle. Vehicle pasted. Alright. Everything should be good. Inducted. Voodoo. Inductor. Now obviously you just got two rides there. But you want to consider your drop, so it's best to have a couple of rides that are set for your interaction menu so that you can do an actual hit, right? We'll put a fucking Stafford. And a Stallion. And what else? Impaler. Why not? I got one. Number four. 190Z. Okay. I just pre roll four cars real quick that I already had stored up. Now these house slots, before you re-roll your save, if you're making cars on these slots, you have to verify. You remember, I cleared this save all the way empty. There was nothing on this save. Right? So you got to verify that when you go to this car and you go to interior, it's actually selected as true. And vehicle in garage, instead of false, it has to say true. If either one of those are false, your car won't appear. So it's best to verify that the vehicle is actually stored in the garage and that it's listed as in the interior. And do it to both of them. And verify that they are both selected. Get your cars, make your changes, force a save. All good. Back to the wizard we go. Now, obviously, you see, I didn't actually do anything related to the impound. I didn't make donor cars in the impound. I didn't adjust the offset for my current vehicle in order to place DLC rights. The only thing I did was copied files, and instead of driving them from the impound, I extracted them and copied and pasted them to those new locations.
best way to start your save is one of those methods. Copy and paste, or extract, and replace. To begin with, because you got to get cars on your slots. Got to get cars on your slots. If you want to merge, after this we can. Obviously, I just overwrote my game save data from that one I pulled, copied it back to my console storage directly over the same save. I'm only operating with one save right now, which is fine. I do typically suggest that you have one clean save to continue to play on so that you have a unbroken save. Load in. Cars are here. You see, I got the bike, and I got the voodoo. Voodoo stored, all modifications passed, everything's hit, and I'm ready to go. If I want to do DMO, I just switch into Franklin, go into DMO right now. I should know that these cars have all the upgrades and modifications that were tied to them. All right, director mode, check your rides. See in my list, I got those four that I chose. Stafford, Stallion, Impaler, 190Z. They'll actually appear inside of the garages because I had them allocated and placed beforehand. Got your cars prepped, ready to drop, All right? All right, all good. 190Z is my favorite because of the interior cycle. Detail light brown. Number one, uh, Sienna Brown, I think, is number two. Number three is Ice White. Number four, the infamous Hunter Green. Number five, Dark Steel and a Util, so it's clean. Number six, Midnight blue, util midnight blue, so it's clean. Number seven, we start fresh. Right back to the beginning again. All right, anyways, now I'm ready. This is a master save. I can hit, I can drop, I can run. All right, so let's say I do my hit. I take these rides online, okay? Go do director mode online, pull these rides. I'm ready for a new save. Okay, so what I like to do is leave this same game save up, and I don't close it. This is exactly on my console right now as it is on my save editor moving forward. Okay, so it's at this moment in time that if I want to make changes, then I do. And I don't close this save to re-roll it. Now I will make changes to the rights. And let's pick, you know, brand new filter vehicles from the Chop Shop DLC. And the filter sucks because you got to go to all, and then you got to go back. And let's pick a ride to make. convertible would you like to reset all modification now this is a very important alert all right because remember in the beginning how we talked about slots and their ids how ids stay tied to the slots regardless if you change the vehicle on them or not if i change the vehicle but i say no to this then all the modifications that were set to that slot will stay 
on that slot. And I would now have a Vagero that was exactly the same as this Voodoo. But I don't want that because those mods might not communicate correctly in the right merge. You only want to merge if this is your intention and you're prepared for it. But right now, I know my donor car isn't the right kind of car. And it's not my intention and I'm not prepared for it. So I'll have a failed merge. There's a good chance my game will crash. So I'm going to reset all mods. But that means that everything's reset. Right? The only thing that stays is nothing. <laughs> Just the body style and the components that are the base of the car's default ID. So I go max all upgrades. Max all upgrades. Then design my car. For me... My cars are always compiled off the IDs that I attribute to them from their liveries. What I'm going to do, you know, what type of car I'm going to make, type of livery I use. Do the pace car with the children on the mount that's in Epsilon Blue. We'll run our modifications. I'm just going to pick a bunch of secondary shit and stuff real quick. No fucking house mods none no turbo you can put your unknown stock on no fucking secondary house shit though the only thing you can do is some of the performance mods they can pass but the actual upgrade and this turbo shit you don't want it Front bumper, secondary, exhaust, super race, back bumper, all good, all good. Okay, check again that the vehicle still stays stored in the garage, that it's stored in the interior. All the mods reset. So I need to reallocate my wave rims. And there's a good chance, even though I had wave rims on this, when I would choose a new ride, it'd be something else. So you need to verify your slots and your IDs after you do the overwrite. Okay. I chose that children of the mount shit. So we'll run Epsilon. Fluorescent. Epsilon and Util Dark Blue Carl Fluorescent to match the accent. The rim color is gone. Epsilon 2. Primary, there's no custom option because crew colors don't belong in story mode. And although you can pick, like, headlights, the headlights won't go. Now, I mean, I don't suggest putting any house shit on it except for the engine, to be honest with you. There's a good chance not a lot of it's going to communicate unless you got the right type of model to ride. Most of this house shit will shut your game down. And again, you can pick lights, but the headlights aren't going to go through. They just don't go fucking through. I'll leave the fifth engine on. All right, now let's pick another ride, shall we? Let's make a super modded car. You want to see how the king makes a super modded car? Let's make a super modded car. I got one true regular ride that I'm going to make. Yes, I want to reset all modifications. The only thing that I want to keep on the car... Gonna be the livery. Let's go rims. Hunter green. Let's go. Wash primary, C 
she lost secondary. Hunter Green, interior. Dashboard's gone, she lost. Pearl's gone, Hunter. Now this car I'm designing is a Revolter. I only chose the livery. I'm not going to choose the weapons. I'm not going to choose any body modifications for this car. I'm not going to choose the performance. I'm not going to choose anything. But I'm going to save it. And let's roll with the cop car. Oh, no. no. I would not like to reset the mods on this car. See, no reset. Okay, no reset. Force a save. Okay, and like, I'm just going to reroll this save right now, live. I didn't close it. Never closed it. I did my drop. I hit. I pulled my strip club rides. I made adjustments to the very same save in the very same slots in the very same locations. And I never ever closed or overwrote that data at all. Put that same save. Slay's going to work. No, it's the middle of the night. Homeboy's chilling. All right, let's check in. Got my save. We're going to go back to the capture device. I like this OBS shit. It's pretty dope. Okay. Copy or delete. Put it to the console storage. Reload. Slow ass PS4. Jesus. All right. Reload. All good. Now you see this one's got them broken red lines on it. And that's how I designed that pass. You know where that livery came from. You gotta remember what was on that slot to begin with. But it comes in a broken state when you don't reset the mods. There's certain features that didn't pass. So the consequences of not resetting the mods is getting broken cars. Your cars will be in a broken state if you don't reset the modifications. There's a purpose behind this. 
if you if your intentions are to merge because you can merge with save editor just like you can merge online just like you merge cars for deleted components just like you figure out what car what does what merge you can do the same thing with overwrites and save editor if you don't do resets but if you don't have a correct merge then this is the consequence deleted components parts that don't miss that don't show now on the other hand if you go about things like I did where you copy and paste or you extract the vehicle in order to move its identity then everything should be exactly as you designed it fully complete fully clean with no modifications missed or passed incorrectly everything should be as it was supposed to be Patriot smoke. No Patriot smoke on a rewrite. This one kick me. No Patriot smoke on the rewrites. All right, no Patriot smokes on the rewrites. Now it used to be, again, if you wanted to do your drop, you'd pull these rides off the slots. We'd say we're done with our drops. We don't want these rides no more. Empty strip club. Go to the impound. Go get two more rides. Right? Or you'd come over here and you'd head on over to his fucking pillbox hill garage since it's unlocked and allocated. Now you have the property stored so that you can come online and you would get two cars. Physically drive them to the strip club in order to merge and make changes to them. Right? You would. You would. You can see all my cars appear here on them slots because I had this garage allocated before to begin with. Right? You get in your car and go drive it. Take it to the strip club. Stallion. On the slot. But I don't have to do that now, right? Remember, the new save editor. I don't have to do that. Don't have to do that at all. I still have that save up. Same save. Same shit that I just did. So if I got them slots... Now let's clear them. Reset all mods. Put the vehicle to none. Seeing that we had missing upgrades. Instead of driving that stallion over, I'll verify it. Check the neon color. We want a color on there. Use tire smoke red for the neon. Make sure the tire smoke's truly selected to Patriot smoke as it's supposed to be. Save that file. Extract it. Stallion. Replace. Trevor Strip Club. Place for that stallion. As soon as I replace, pick my interior, formula red until bright red. Verify my rim color, verify your rims passed. Always check your tire design and your custom tires. Tire smoke shows like it's black and I'm not going to be able to view it, but I copy and pasted that from a direct slot. Verify with the quick mod that it's there. Make sure any of your last upgrades are chosen to what they're supposed to be. Make final changes to the paints.
max all modifications if you want to. Save. Moved one car from the slot. Still shows there. Let's go to none. Reset the slot. Hey, fuck you, motherfucker. Don't tell me that. Make another car. I want my impossible car to pass. I haven't checked them yet until right now, so we'll see. No custom. Car lesson. I'm going to try to make the impossible right out of this one. We'll lock this slot first and see that it holds. Patriot smoke. Clear off the slot and back on it. Check it. Selected. Neon color. We're just going to copy the sea wash room color. Huh? Copy color to neon. Vehicle force to save. Extract. Replace. Make a GTA UV file. It'll change. Swipe the car and go back. Let's pick our DLC. I wanted to wrap that cop car up like a present. No, I don't want to reset the mods for that one. Force a save. Now I just re-rolled my save three times. Off the same save. Without ever actually pulling the car from a different location in the game. Without ever making a change that I needed to re-roll that save. Everything's done on the editor. As long as you're imprinting your slots correctly. Apply. That stallion is the one I wanted to check. I'm trying to make sure that that passes off. The Patriot smokes the correct way. We should get an update within the next couple of days, I'm assuming. Put that save right back on the console. Three saves re-rolled. I'd be ready to hit again. Two. 
go before. Let's see. Motherfucking consequences, huh? Motherfucking consequences. Crash happens from the merge, man. At times. Merge and merge is not so great right this second, huh? That's why you gotta make sure, man. You gotta reset them fucking slots every time. If you don't reset them slots, that's gonna happen. You should pay per lesson. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Nico, say. That slot broke. So all I did was choose the same vehicle, and this time when it gave me the prompt to reset all mods, I said yes. Copied that vehicle and repasted it back to the slot. We'll make sure that everything is working the way that it's supposed to. If I re roll it that way. Save, import, no fucking mergey mergies like to happen, gotta make sure that body style is on zero, huh? Let's have a look. Body style was on three. That was enough to clear it. I don't even know what that would have been. Nah, either way. It is what it is. All right. Let's try again, motherfucker. I had house upgrades on that car, huh? It's probably the fifth engine. I overrode it. Yeah, that's gonna be why. I had house upgrades on that Vigero to begin with, and I overrode it with a non house car that doesn't support a fifth engine. It should clear it, but I didn't reset the mods. So it fucking crashed. We'll reset the mods this time. Cop car, stallion, check that the smoke passed, Patriot smoke, red, white, and blue, red, white, and blue. Neon, everything, 
everything. Get kicked from that card too quick. Cool. Cool. All right. Now, for the last time. All right, last time. Let's do complete overwrites. Okay, so we go right back to the same save that I had set up. All right, now these slots, I've already set the slots. I already set the vehicles. I know they're stored in their locations. I'm on to my fourth drop by now, right? I'm on to my fourth drop. So let's say I'm gonna switch things up. I wanna drop up some cars that I can store off the street. Obviously, if you've seen my post, we added a new search feature. You can type in obtainable street, hit tab, and a whole list of every vehicle that can be stolen and stored off the street will appear. Right? Fucking A. Any one of these cars can be stolen and stored. I'm going to choose a Patriot. Yes, I want to reset all modifications. Max all default modifications. The reason why I'm doing this this way is to show that you can actually mod using the house menu. I've been copying and pasting from different slots that have specific modifications, but now the strip club has them. So I'll run all my specific modifications from this location. You can just choose a car on the slot. Make sure you reset all mods. Go about your designing. Verify it's in interior. Verify it's in the garage. As long as those things stay selected, the car should be able to overwrite and appear. The game won't crash if the mods will pass. Green Fountain, Siwash, Siwash, Secure Core P Green for the Pearl Interior. Dashboard will be lime. Check your rims. They're going to default to stock. You actually have the ability to choose rims. Tire design, custom tires, extras, bulletproofs. Tire smoke shows as Patriot. I can see it listed again. Now that I'm here, I just had it extracted and placed on that save. But I know that I reset the slot. So when I go check in the quick menu, it's not selected and it shows black because that's none, none instead of Patriot. It's not the same. Got to ch check the Patriot smoke and make sure that black goes away. Every time if you're dealing with Patriot smoke or custom tires, you want to verify that it shows listed. Once you make your changes, save. Now, I did a little bit of both menus, some of the specific modifications, some of the defaults, some of the quick menus for that car. But you can just use the quick menu for everything if you know what you're trying to do. Alphabetical order for the drop-down menu makes it easy when you know what you're looking for. Sentinel XS. Now, you'll notice I didn't get the alert to change the mod kit. When I did that, right, that's a problem. We want to get the alert to change the mod kit. That should give it, I don't know why it didn't, but it should change. Max all defaults. There is a max all default right here on this mod kit. You can reset and max all mods from the quick menu too. Everything will go. It's going to standardize the HSW modifications for the Sentinel XS because that's its max if you want it. These are obviously great donor cars for later.
Orange, orange, orange brands. Click the color. We can't copy from there. Oh, that kind of sucks. We should be able to copy and paste from the quick menu. Why can't we do that? That's what we need. Let's copy color the neon custom tire smoke everything. And then we'll copy the RGB or hex so that we can use it in the quick menu. Paste hex. Clear internal. Kind of got to use a little bit of both of the quick menu right now. That's kind of not the way it's supposed to be. Engines. Let's go one orange interior. Detail bright blue. I don't think it's supposed to be that way, but we'll figure it out. Car stack, car stored, cars complete, close, mod should change, go to vehicle, force save. Now we can do our specific modifications. Whatever ones you want on the car. Let's make her a gun. This one's obviously got the most streetcar modifications that there are. That's why it's a good one to use. Sentinel XS. No, I don't want that shit. Secondary flaps, no house upgrades. design our cars all right now <clears throat> obviously it takes a little bit of time some people don't like to design their cars as they drop them like I'm doing right every time I'm doing a new roll of cars I'm dropping them coming back to the save leaving it open so if you wanted to take time to sit here and design rides you could right and I could design a ride and then once I'm done I'm just going to extract it Extract selected vehicle. Now this one, because it comes off of a house lot, will make an actual GTA V house vehicle. It's still listed as, as a VT, GTA VV file, but it, it's a house vehicle. So when I save it, it'll appear for later. So I can make a bunch of rides, you know? And then when I'm ready, just extract and paste them. Paste and paste them. And they'll show up in your list. When you go to the house vehicles, when you attempt to replace a vehicle, well, it's not letting me do it now. Why is it not doing it? I just fucking extracted it. It's quite weird. Replace selected vehicle, go to my house vehicles. I should see my Sentinel access there. I can access it and list it and paste it in another location. Let me go back to the strip though and see why it's not kicking up the... There we go. Replace selected vehicle. GTA V house vehicle. It'll pop up them mods. Okay, save. Before I roll forward, 
Let's check my smoke and my underglow so I can verify I'm in the game. Smoke and underglow. I'm paying so much attention to that right now because I know we're having a problem with the straight overwrites in that slot. The merge overwrites like I had done. Merge overwrites came out defaulted and the smoke was just kind of gray. So you had a hard replace your data. Import file, run my original, apply, call it good. So we did a master save and we've used it a few times. The whole time I've kept it open to make full changes. I've never once closed my save. I've never once pulled my save from my console after the beginning. I only did once after initially buying the garages and setting my director mode location to the strip club consistently back and forth back and forth back and forth reset all mods to the slot copy and paste extract and replace they're the most dependable versions of methods straight overwrites and merging like before always gave people problems there's a reason why everybody stayed away from the strip club it's not just because they didn't know how we were making cars at the strip club it's because of the bullshit they had to deal with doing the overwrites and merging and those techniques have always created complications they just do they just do load back in my cars are ready to rock. Everything should be as it's supposed to be. All right, now. Let's go check this fucking thing real quick, huh? Got my streetcar donor from my set too. Flashing. Your activators will pass. You'll be able to select your tire designs. All your customizations to make fully clean activators and rides. Component cars, street cars, DLC cars. Everything that you want fresh off the slot. No manipulating rides in story mode in order to do so. Make sure you follow through, all right? Make sure you follow through. 